Welcome to our Angular Insights video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter while working with dynamic components. Our viewer is using Angular 2 Google Maps in their application and is facing a challenge with managing markers that are updated every five seconds via sockets. They want to know if it's possible to properly destroy components that aren't dynamically created. Let's dive into the details of their situation. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. In this video, we'll address a common issue in Angular applications when working with dynamic components, specifically how to manage Google Map markers efficiently. The problem arises when new markers are received from a socket every five seconds. We need to remove the previous markers to prevent performance degradation. In the provided code, we have a method called remove markers. This method attempts to destroy the existing markers, but it doesn't clear the markers array before adding new ones. To fix this, we need to ensure that we clear the markers array before pushing new markers into it. This will prevent the accumulation of references and improve performance. By implementing this change, we ensure that the markers array is always up to date and we avoid unnecessary performance issues in our Angular application. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Angular, you can't destroy a component that wasn't added dynamically. However, you can use ngif to remove a component when it's not needed. You can also create your own version of ngif. That includes custom logic for component removal. This is straightforward to implement. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Yeah.